More changes announced for Penn State's football program. The latest development aimed at fans, especially those who buy single game tickets, will be paying different prices for different games. And with more on that, Gary Sinderson joins us from the Center County Newsroom tonight. Gary. New coach and a new ticket pricing plan. It has been a busy time for the Nittany Lion football program. What Penn State is doing for single game tickets, not season tickets, but for single game tickets, is like a supply and demand situation. For those games that have more demand, more appeal, they will now have more expensive ticket prices. Penn State calls it a variable pricing structure for single game tickets. There will be differing prices and the price you pay will depend on where you want to sit in Beaver Stadium. Our fans ready to pay up to $200 a ticket to see the Ohio State game. Actually, as the Penn State Athletic Director told us last fall, the change has been in the works for a while. It's already in place at a number of other colleges. You know, some tiered pricing, uh, you know, certain games more than others. Uh, you know, I think in, uh, I read uh, Notre Dame, you know, Notre Dame tickets $195 compared to a $50 ticket for some other opponent. So uh, we haven't done that yet. I'm not saying we wouldn't. Reaction from Penn State fans today mixed. Some commenting scalpers already getting jacked up ticket prices and the lower price tickets may attract more fans. When I first heard the $40 for the lesser, you know, the lesser competitive games, I thought that sounded reasonable. And then when they got to $100 for Ohio State, I thought that was ridiculous. <laughs> Who can afford to take your family to a football game at $100 a ticket? Yeah, I just think it's a little bit, uh... I don't know, strange. I think the Penn State football experience should be the same no matter what. And um, I think e equal opportunity should be granted to everybody, um, whether or not it's Ohio State or Penn State. General public single game tickets go on sale this July. So will this new plan fill up some of those empty seats at Beaver Stadium? Possibly, but will it produce more revenue for the football program? That's a different question. By the way, in a related note, for the first time since James Franklin was named as their coach, several Penn State football players talking to the media this afternoon. We'll have more on that coming up here in a few minutes. We're live in Center County. Gary Sinderson, 6 News.